Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. I'm Owen. And I'm Holly. And welcome to March Intensive 2016. In the space of a mere four days, these eight Hanover High School students really created great things. From music videos full of heartbreak to bands of intergalactic Irish pirates. This week has had it all. Let's have a look. I'm Simran and today I am here with Katie and Owen and today we are going to be discussing the first project you guys did back on Tuesday which is when you were given an object and you had to take that object and give it a function it wouldn't normally have so if I remember correctly Katie you and your team worked with a stapler and then Owen you and your team worked with headphones and your stapler was a gun and your headphones made you invisible correct? That's correct. So um, I'm here and I'd like to ask you guys a few questions about it. So Katie, then Owen, you guys can answer. So Katie, how difficult was it to figure out what you wanted your object to be? It wasn't very difficult for my group to choose. Um, it probably only took about a minute for us to come up with it. I mean, as soon as we saw it, we're like, this is going to be a gun. This is going to be a gun with some kind of power. That's cool. And Owen? Uh, same. It was, it was not challenging. It, we sort of initially we put the headphones on, thought that instead of being a listening device, it could be a headpiece that gave you some ulterior power. That's cool. Um, so how did you decide what your object would be capable of doing? Well, looking at the stapler, uh, we kind of just moved it around a little bit and we had it into a 90 degree angle and we were like, I mean, this looks perfect for a gun. <laughs> so that sounds great. And then Owen? We. Uh, we thought a lot about sort of an issue that was sort of prevalent in today's society and we thought about bullying and how we could sort of do a commercial um, that had to do with bullying. So we thought that we would have the headphones turn someone invisible to hide from a bully. <clears throat> Sounds good. Um, so how difficult was it to come up with a storyline for the purpose of your new object, Katie? Well, for our group, uh, we didn't really have like a script with lines on it. It was mostly just improv. We had another person come into our group, and he kind of set the whole entire storyline for us. That's cool. Owen? Yeah. Uh, for us, it wasn't difficult. We used two different, or we used the same uh, story twice, one without the headphones and one with the headphones, and we just sort of let it play out. That's cool. Um, so, do you think your chosen capability was effectively shown in your video with your object? I definitely think it was. I mean, we had at least two or three very, ex very good examples of how this was going to be shown as a gun in my group. Awesome. Uh, again, I think that using the technique we had, which was playing out the same story twice, uh, I think that really showed how we were able to use the product and what it was meant to be used for. Uh -huh, okay, cool. So I think this is my favorite question now. If you could go back and change what you made your object do, would you change it or would you keep it the same? Well, I liked the idea of ours, but I thought about it like maybe an hour or two after uh, filming and I was like, this could have been really cool as a phone with some sort of superpower. Yeah, that's cool. Owen? I thought it was good. I thought we did a good job uh, sort of bringing in an issue that a lot of people see today um, but if I had to go back, I think that we could have done something bigger. Bigger? Uh, like maybe turn into a dragon or something. I don't you know. know. Casual. <laughs> Casual. Just slip on the headphones. Rawr. And Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Okay. Um, so when filming, do you think there was a memorable shot that you filmed, an angle or a sound effect that you used that really stuck out? I think our whole video was memorable, but um, uh, the scene where um, we have one of our people, he's explaining how to use the gun, and then he makes a joke about it, and there's music in the background. And right after, or right before he says the joke, the music stops, and then he says it, and then the music starts back up again. So there's like this like quick pause when he's saying this funny line, and I think that was 
a moment that was quite funny for all of us. That's good. Owen? I think we had, again, I think we were able to use the sort of audio to our advantage. We had this sort of melancholy, uh, lighthearted sound, not lighthearted, but sad-ish uh, music playing mm -hmm. in the beginning when um, the first story without the headphones is played out. And then it becomes much more intense and faster and um, almost rageful when uh, the uh, person has the headphones. Um, and I think we did a good job with making that change and making that atmosphere change to our advantage. <clears throat> That's cool. Uh, OK, more casual, simpler, probably much shorter question. How much fun did you have making this first video this week? It was very fun. I mean, I went here and I was like, wow, I know I'm going to do amazing things here, but I didn't know that the first video was probably going to be the most memorable video that we did. That's cool. Owen? Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We were quick to come up with an idea. We didn't argue at all, put a comedic spin on it. it great. Beautiful. <clears throat> okay, so in the end, how much effort do you think, I mean, out of either comparing it to everything else or just looking at that one pr particular video by itself on Tuesday. How much effort do you think was put into that first video? Well, at the time, um, my group and I thought that we put a ton of effort into the video. But then looking back on it now and looking at back after all the videos we did, it looks like to me that like we didn't put as much effort into the videos that we've been doing throughout the week. But I definitely think that that video we did put good and good amount of effort into. That's good. Owen? Yeah, I think we put the effort that we could, as much as we could, um, into the video because of our limited uh, sort of understanding and capabilities with the software that we were using. Um, but I think we did a good job with that, despite our uh, disadvantage. Well, that sounds really good. Thank you for joining me today, guys. And now I think we'll take a look at the videos. Give me your money, or I'm gonna piss on your cat. That's what you do, all right? I gotta go rob a bank. I'll be right back. All right. I think I got this. Sorry. Not doing this right. I'm not doing this right. You gotta angle it like this, homie. Spread your legs wider. Get down and look a little ratchet. There we go. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> Nope. 
Uh, I don't think I want this anymore. I don't. But it's not done. Okay, fine. Go see you later. Hey, that is longer than that. That doesn't make any sense. Completely painless. Hey, my arm was bleeding, and an infant can do this better than you can. You have sensitive skin. A sensitive skin, my butt. It hurt. A lot. I'm sorry. Y you should be, and I'm not paying for this. Wait, wait, hold up. Yeah. I grew out of the service, you have to pay for it. Bye, Felicia. So I'd like a tattoo on my foot. Too, I guess. I'm so glad that you like it. Don't worry. It'll start to show up more later. Beautiful. It's a very special kind of ink. Okay, um, how much do I owe you? Well, since it's on the ankle and that's like a difficult area because like bones, that will be $200. $200? Yeah, didn't you look at the brochure? How about $100? That's the lowest I can go. Okay, good. Have a nice day. I'll try. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, less than we're done. Bro, like, legit. I don't know why you need to pay for it. My name is Olivia and we're here with Katie and Leston to talk about their um, newest music videos that they were involved in. So hi Katie and Leston. Hi. Very nice to have you guys here. So how hard was this to create for you guys? Well for my group anyways, uh, we spent quite a long time on our storyboard so it gave us a shorter amount of time to edit and film. But I think in the time that we did film we got the good shots that we needed and it still came out as a very good video. Um, our group, we did a very serious music video, so that it couldn't like be any fun or joking. So the hardest part was keeping a straight face while we filmed the scenes we needed to be filmed, especially like the very serious scenes. So why did you guys choose the songs that you chose? Well, um, out of all three of us, we all loved Taylor Swift. And so in the end, we had about five Taylor Swift songs, and we all were debating which one we chose. So in the end, after a good 20 minutes of deciding, we came up with You Belong With Me, and that's the song that we chose. Um, me and another group member, we were debating on songs we could choose. My songs that I chose were too graphic, I guess, and we decided on his song, um, Half Crazy, by Jukebox the Ghost. It's slightly depressing, but it tells a story of love which in our age group, I guess, it's kind of a new thing for us. We don't really know how to, we don't really know the emotions, we don't really know how to handle it necessarily. So what were some of the strengths in your groups? Um, I think one of our strengths that stood out to me was being able to listen to each other's ideas. That's why our storyboard took so long because we all had so many ideas and we were all just trying to figure out which one is going to be the best one out of all these ideas. So I think, you know, generating ideas and listening to each other was good. Strength in my group, probably we never argued. We were very goofy, but we never argued. We could always decide on what we're going to do, how we're going to film it. We all had different ideas, of course, but we all came to this one conclusion of what we can do. So. What were some of the weaknesses in your group or things that delayed your production process? Well, um, as I said, um, coming up with 
you know, ideas that are going to be like final ideas. We couldn't decide on a lot of ideas for things. We all had so many, so it kind of dragged us behind a lot. So we were behind other groups, but somehow we managed to pull back together and be on time and finish the video on time. The hardest part probably was us goofing off a lot. It was a very serious music video, like I said before, and being serious all the time really isn't how our group kind of works. So we laughed and goofed off and had to reshoot a scene about a good eight times before we could really put that into the final product. Um, so what kinds of shots did you guys use and how do you feel that they really enhanced your final product? Um, my group, uh, we used a lot of close-ups, um, even not in just a music video, but we used close-ups in other stuff we did. And I feel like the extreme close-ups anyways for ones that really gave meaning to our videos, but um, yeah. My group, we used quite a bit of long shots and wide shots, but we used one close-up shot that really showed the emotion, it really showed how sad a person was or like any emotion that we're feeling, so. Um, so what, uh, so let's see, Katie, um, what was it like to have Taylor Swift lurking at your boyfriend's back door? Um, that was a uh, very funny scene. That was probably one of the most silly scenes we had because we had um, Elizabeth trying to work the camera where we had her over the shoulder and uh, we smiled the whole time. Um, her boyfriend and I, or my boyfriend at the time, and I smiled the whole time. But it was a very funny scene. Do you think if that like would have actually happened, would you have called the police or would you guys have still been laughing? I mean, I would have laughed at her pain for probably 10 minutes and then probably <laughs> called the police. <laughs> Um, so what was what kind of budget did you guys have for your music? Video? Extremely low budget. I'm not gonna lie. Would that contribute to the visible car? And <laughs> yes, use the, the the use of green screen was very appropriate. Um, so Leston, yep. uh, why did you guys choose such a depressing song besides that? Like I said, um, for our age group, love is a new emotion we feel. I mean, we all have that emotion when we were younger, like loving our parents, but this is different, it's new. We don't know how we could really work with it. We don't, we don't have any recollection of it in the past. So, and if love can either make you or it can break you. In this case, love broke someone, so. And it's, in you guys' video, you guys shot some scenes on train tracks. Were you terrified to get hit by a train? Yeah, yeah, very terrified. Those train tracks worked. We weren't supposed to be out there. We had no supervision. So, which we, we got like yelled at a little bit about, but it, it was slightly terrifying. Would slightly. you have been more afraid of yourself getting hit or of the camera getting hit? Definitely the camera, definitely the camera. I mean, <laughs> me getting hit, well, I'd have to live with that, of course, and the camera getting hit is more or less, oh yeah, we broke your camera because it got hit by a train. <laughs> um, so, how is your relationship with your girlfriend now? She's dead. JK, is she like left me for a guy with a yacht? Uh. So, you know, you know how that works, right? You know, <laughs> he had a yacht, I mean, right around in a beat down car. <laughs> so for both of you, what is one thing that you would change or do differently in your next music video or in this music video? Um, there was many, many, many things I loved about this experience with the music video. Um, the only thing that would have changed is that we needed more time to film and edit our video and we might have been able to come up with a little better certain things probably be more serious because if we were more serious we could probably have added more scenes nicer scenes more that showed more emo scenes that showed more emotion heartbreak but in the end i feel like we still did rather well awesome well thank you guys for joining us and let's take a look at these music videos Neglecting even to touch the phone Salty tears rolling down your cheeks Like they had many times before Did you fear that every time you speak Would be the very final word that creeps Between your teeth and off your tongue before you collapse from a broken heart
feeling that you had deep down They kept your heart on hold My story was an easy place to hide I didn't mind cause I could pass the time Counting the thousand little lies you kept Inside of your broken heart Way i gone out crazy Worried about you
When I was young, I never needed anyone. And making love was just fun. Those days are gone. Living alone, I think of all the friends I've known. But when I dial the telephone, nobody's home. Jane and I'm here today with our lovely guests Elizabeth and Olivia. Today we're going to be talking about the making of their famous genre videos. So tell us about the story in your plot Elizabeth. Well in our video it's about a girl and so she's just walking down the alley one day and she hear and her scarf's taken and so she looks around and there's no one there and then so she keeps walking down the alley and she hears some things, she sees some things, but she doesn't see where anything's coming from. And so it's about wh what happens from there and what happens to the girl. And ours is about a girl who is just trying to live her life and um, there's this jiving leprechaun that is just following her around. It's supposed to be like our horror element that's just following her and chasing her and she can't get rid of it. And so that's what our is wow. about. Spooky. So what inspired the plot? I don't know. I think for us, we were just storyboarding and we were coming up with scenes and shots. And it just kind of developed as we kept going. Mm, interesting. And, you know, what inspired you to make your plot? Well, since this was filmed on St. Patrick's Day, I think that St. Patrick's Day just really <laughs> inspired our thoughts and we wanted to go with something. Okay, so why did you choose to go with this, you know, spooky, horror-themed video? Well, a lot of other groups were doing comedy. Actually, all the other groups were doing comedies, although this was a horror comedy. We wanted to do full horror. And 
we just thought it would be fun to film and to make it, which it was. And why did you decide to go with this, you know, horror comedy theme? Well, we were actually going to do just horror and then we just started coming up with our idea and realized it was probably not going to be super <laughs> scary and so we just thought it would be fun to play around with that. So what are some of the shots uh, that really stand out to you in your video? You know, were they uh, any shot, did you take any shots that um, conveyed a, you know, a special message to the audience or uh, a specific feeling or meaning? Well, in my group's video, one of my favorite shots, I'm very proud of this, I took this shot, is it's the first shot and it starts on the ground, but then it pans up as the girl keeps walking down the alley. And the pan's just so smooth and I was so happy with it. And then we have another shot that goes to our ghost's eyes, Katie's eyes, and it's really cool because it's because she has this makeup on and it's really creepy. Yeah. It's great. Okay, were there any shots that you took that really helped convey a special, you know, feeling or meaning to the um, audience? I think that a lot of our extreme close ups and just regular close ups really help to enhance our video. We focused a lot on people's eyes to kind of tell their emotions and like the jiving feet so you can kind of hear those footsteps. And then another scene was that we had done kind of a long shot of following the girl, but from the monster's perspective. So that was cool. Yeah. Um, what are some of the scenes or parts in your video that you are most proud of? I really like the scene where the girl is calling the police and the police doesn't believe her but when you when it show when it shows the girl you can see in the background Katie's there oh. and she's just creeping up behind her oh, wow. what what scene do you like the most what are you proudest of uh, um, filming wise I really liked our whole movie but I think it was just interesting to have that scene from the monster's perspective and then mm -hmm. have the girl turn around and scream and stuff so what are some of the challenges you faced, you know, both in editing and filming? How did you overcome these challenges? I think for our group, I know for me one thing that I have trouble with sometimes is trying to articulate what I'm trying to do. And so my group was just really listening to me really well and we listened to each other and we heard everyone's ideas and everyone had great ideas and they all came through and it was, it was really great. And you know, how did you overcome your hardships? Uh, we didn't have a lot of difficulties in our group. I think that we worked really well together. We just had um, like some new techniques to try in editing and stuff, so we worked those out. Well, are there any special effects that you added in the editing process that really helped enhance certain moments in your films? In our video, we have a filter on it, and it's kind of just gives it cooler tones, darker shadows, and it really contrasts because in the first few scenes or shots, you can hear birds chirping and so it's just this really happy sound in contrast with these dark shadows and cool colors. Wow, that's cool. And you know, you, what, what types of you know, special effects did you use to really enhance the moment? Um, we used a lot of sound effects like rumbles and crashes and footsteps um, and we also had uh, like a reddish filter on for the monster's perspective and like a special set of music that was used when the monster would appear just so that you kind of knew when it was going to be there. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, let's take a look at your work. I live again the days and evenings of my long career. I dream at night of operas and concerts in which I've had my share of success. Now, like the old Irish minstrel, I have hung up my heart because my songs are all sung. This is how it ended. Let me tell you how it started. I was dazed, disoriented, and it knew. It followed me wherever I went, and there was no avoiding it.
White River Junction Police Department, what is your emergency? Hello, my name is Anika and I'm in a dark alleyway. Uh, you see, I was just walking down the alleyway and then a shadow passed and there were noises and it was quick, scary and cold. Kid, I get calls like this all day. Give me something solid. No, I'm not kidding. It, it's really scary. It was like somebody just disappeared into thin air. I, I'm not kidding. It was like a, a ghost, actually. What are you talking about? There's no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> they never listen. <laughs> they never listen. What is happening? Where am I? Why have I been tied? Hello there, little girl. I live again in the days and evenings of my long career. I dream at night of operas and concerts in which I have had my share of success. Now, now like, like the, the old Irish, Irish minstrel, I have hung up my heart because, because my songs are all sung. doing? Why have you done this to me? You, little girl, your grandfather killed him years ago, and this is why you're here today. My cousin, you see, apparently they didn't get on well, but now it's time for you to pay since you did it. I've hung up my heart because my songs are all sung, and soon yours will be too. This world has nothing left for us. I have a family and Netflix at home. Mostly the Netflix is what I'm scared about. N We're Netflix. Ne we are ne going. What? Uh, help me. Place. Help me. I leave again in the days and evenings of my Shh. long Is career. she okay? Is she okay? Oh, probably not. I dream at night I... of operas and concerts in which I have had my share of hey. success. Uh, 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 she now, is drunk. Like She's the drunk. old Irish minstrel, I have hung up my heart because my songs are all sung. I think it's because she got left by her husband last year. We should throw her in the water. Yes! And then go to the portal. Yeah, we should kill her! Portal. Portal, my there, friend. Wait, there's portal. a portal. There's a portal. Why did you just tell me that earlier? Portal! 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 And that's it. I'm tired of this hell of a word! We must find the portal! Where is the portal? Ah, oh, where is it? It's not there! Oh, that, oh. there it is! There it is! Let's that's get the portal! Ah! What are what? those? What are those? What are, what are those? What, what's it, what's what is the White River White, Junction? White River Junction. Where are Beermont? Beermont. 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 Zero five zero zero, zero, zero one. I think the third one is an O. No, I don't think. We, I don't know where we are. We need. We need a guide. We need a guide. Uh, a what? guide. Oh, what, a what guide. about the young boy over there? Over there. I think that's young, 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 young boy. Young boy. Young boy. Young boy. Young boy. Young boy. There is no bones on it. I want it to be 
Why is there no tanks? Why is there no tanks? What's up, guys? I want one. How do you get one? I want one. How do you get one? Tell me. Martial arts, okay? What is a martial arts? Oh my god. What? What is it? Revolution. I think it's Revolution. It's pronounced. It's pronounced revolution. Oh, what's revolution? What is that? Oh, fancy jewelry. Jewelry. I want this. This one right here. This wooden. Pinocchio. This wooden Pinocchio. 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 This is a Converse shoe. What is a Converse? It's like it's like a sweater. Converse. Converse. Oh, I know. It's not beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Oh, I know. It has rope on it, too. Ooh, you know about this that. One. Who is this one? Oh, he's so just oh, the angelic. Oh, the elegance. Look at those rippling muscles. Look at those beautiful thighs. Oh, I want them. Oh, yes. It's, 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 it's a mannequin. It's not real. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> What, what is this? What, I want this one. It is special. It this is different. Is, this is a hoodie of the Upper Valley. What is the Upper Valley? We are in the Upper Valley. It smells. I think you're getting white with a joke, Sanya. Yes. I mean, you are. I don't understand what you it mean. It smells like cotton. We don't like Jules, cotton. Jules, Jules. Well, Jules. then move on. Oh, Jules. We, we should steal it. We should steal it. Where do we steal it? Who, who is that? Who, who are you? Who, uh, who are you? Ah, run! Oh, run away! Oh, we have something! <laughs> you got robbed! What, what are you doing? How much is this worth? This is trash. Our price, but what we is wrong with you? Stole, stole that from the store. Oh, I know, it was so much work. That oh, woman, man, woman, I understand. Women, who is that? I want, I want <laughs> my, I this is my way. I want her. Woman, who do you two? I am the captain! I am the captain! I want her now! She's mine. Yeah, I want hey guys, her! Look, look, she has a face on it. Oh my god, her, her foot oh has, has, has a face on it! Her foot has a face on her foot. How is this possible? Hmm. Oh. What? What kind of car is that? What is that? What? 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 It's black. What? It's, it's black has some black on it, but there's no bones. Why are there no we bones? We need and hands? the bones. Skulls and bones are bones. Make pirates good. Bones. What? Bones. All right. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Give it more holes.
We made it. We made it. That was close. It. Why did you do this? My Netflix and family are over there. I'm so back. Sorry. Oh, sweet God, no. Damn it. What did I We're going back. We're going back. Oh. So, now you've had a sneak peek of what it was like to be a part of these epic videos that we truly believe will go down in history. Maybe we've inspired you to make some of your own. And uh, we wouldn't have been able to do it if, it, if we didn't have the help of uh, CATV. Until next year. Go away.